Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome in. It is Dion at the Blush and Mint. I am so grateful and thankful that you guys are joining me today. As I am every day when you join me, I am I am blessed that you guys take time out of your day to check in on me. So thank you. I appreciate you so, so very much. Well, I sewed the signatures into this flip-flop journal and friends, what can I say? There's just something about when you get a journal going and it's like starting to feel like something. Um, there's just something to be said for it. So I thought, well, let's just flip through and see what we have so far here. So my signatures are all sewn in. I, this is a flip-flop style journal. And so we have three signatures. And we'll have our front cover here. Um, I just can't with this. This is just gorgeous. All right, here we go. So flipping through. Um, it's just going to be, it's going to be gorgeous. Like how can it not be gorgeous when you have these beautiful papers to work with and, um, yeah, it's, it's hard not to be gorgeous. Got some Edith Holden. Lots of flips, lots of places. And I may come back and cut some off. I don't know. Um, center of the signature. Beautiful. This music paper. Lots of journaling space. Flips and flaps and texture, lots of texture. Oh, love this. I mean, come on. Like, look at that. I, I just, I just don't, I don't even know if it's picking up on camera the way it does in person. It's just stunning. It's just stunning. Gonna be gorgeous. Gonna be gorgeous. Love it. Center of signature. Flip outs. Um, lots and lots of flip outs. Places that I can add extra pages. Um, tons of journaling. Gorgeous. 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 be so so gorgeous and then it flips over and I mean look at that look at these together ah stunning 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 so so beautiful So, so beautiful. Just lovely. So, lots of work to do in here. That is where we are so far. Now, what do I want to do? Um, I guess, kind of, what I need to do is just literally one signature at a time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to find a clip. Do I have a big clip? Clip that one back. All right. And let's just go one signature at a time here. And Start to add some pockets, some tuck spots, um, some stenciling maybe. I feel like maybe even some stamping on here. Um, I wonder, 
digging in my drawer here, friends, digging in my drawer. You know, I always, I kind of do things ass backwards for lack of appropriate terminology, but that's really what it is. I'm digging in my drawers here, friends. Hold up. Oh, because I, I always think after the fact, you know, I mean, it's it's how I roll. I think, oh, I should maybe have done this before. Like, so let me tell you what I'm thinking and not, you know, it's, you know. Woo, I about, I about fell on my rear end, but, you know, that's typical. Why, friends? Because my craft shed is a hot mess. It's a hot, hot mess. All right. So what I was thinking, why I say I work ass backwards, is because A, I do, and B, I think after the fact, but these are florals. These are words. These are flourishes. All right. What I was thinking is on these pages here, maybe a little wet stamping, maybe, with like a light pink color. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I have to cover it up. Um, yep, that happens. No big deal. Not the end of the world, friends. Not the end of the world. Um, I should maybe do these things ahead of time, but I, I show you mistakes, happy accidents, whatever you want to call them, um, as they happen in my world. All right, I'm going to take a baby wipe if I can unbury them somewhere. Just make sure that I don't have any lingering ink on there. It looked like it was pink anyway, so that would have been fine, but because I don't take the best care of my stuff um, right off the top, I just don't. Um, oh, looking at what I got beside me here. These are some of my old Stampin' up inks. Looking for a pink. Do I have a pink, friends? Do I have a pink? I mean, at one point I had pink in here. What I've done with it, whole nother ball game. Nobody knows. Mustard. Every color but pink. Lilacs, blues. Then I have a little stash of a light blue, dark blue, teal, and old olive. I could do old olive. What's the worst that happens? I don't like it. I don't know. Let's just do it. Pick a color, Dion, and just roll with it. Like I said, what happens? I have to cover it up. No big deal. No biggie. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Ugh, i got to remember how to use these stamp pads, first of all. Because clearly you have to be smarter than the ink pad. It's been a while. It's been a while, friends. Okay, here we go. All right, Dion, come on. Just get it together, friend. Just get it together. I didn't want the lines in there, so, you know. I'll get it figured out. I will. This is not this is not a how-to video, FYI. <laughs> ah, 
Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing. That's why. Sorry, arm. Gotta get a thing. Sorry. And let's just I love that technique. It's so pretty. And I honestly don't know. I feel like, oh, <laughs> like, whoa, something just shot off my desk. Um, it was just my clip. Um, I feel like this was an Artie Mays, Andrea Allen, Artie Mays technique of that wet on wet, or wet ink stamping. I feel like that was something she did. I love that. That's gorgeous. Okay. And it bleeds through a little bit. That's fine. I can leave it. I can add something. I, I mean, it's not the end of the world to me. Um, okay. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know... I'm bringing you along because, you know, that's what I do, friends. I just I just grab my friends when I'm sitting down here, and I bring you along for the ride. Whatever that ride may be, you're here with me, friends. Thanks. Thanks for being here for the ride. So let's do that on here as well. Like so. A little water. And we'll stamp right on this edge here if I can get it together, friends. Gosh, that's gorgeous. That color is beautiful. I love it. And I realize the stamp is imperfect. And to me, that is what makes this wet stamping um, technique just perfect, is that it is imperfect. It has that kind of watercolorish effect. I love it. So since I'm doing that, I'm going to continue into the other signatures and do that. Oh, look at it. What it's, ooh, what side do I want it to be on? Do I want it to be here or do I want it to be here? Part of me says, let's do it here, friends. Let's just. Let's just do it because it's gorgeous and it doesn't matter. We're just going to do it. So, yeah, thanks for coming along with me, friends, and letting me just do some crazy kind of craft in here with you. Lord knows I just do weird things. I have to come at this sideways. Um, one, my crooked eye, and two, I don't know, just because I do feel like I need to. Let's see how clumsy I am, friends. And I feel like you can still um, journal over the top of this. No big deal. That I let that sit just a little long, so it led into that. That's all right. I, it's it's okay. It's fine.
Look how beautiful that is with those florals on that other side. Beautiful. And you can journal right over the top of it. No big deal. No harm, no foul, gorgeous. Okay, moving along. Gosh, my hands are a hot mess. Look at me. All right. Oh, that paper's beautiful. Coming over, coming over, like a bullet clover. Do I want to do it on this corner and do something different over here? Why am I singing? I don't know, friends. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. I am just. I'm just that kind of crazy. All right, part of me wants to go ahead and do it on this corner. It doesn't have to be back to back, like the same page. It doesn't. You can do whatever you want to do. Do it your way, friends. Jeez Louise, does it get any more beautiful? I don't know. I don't know if it does or not. But in my world right now, it doesn't. So I'm pleased. I am pleased with that. And I love this set. Let's see. What is it called? It's called Baroque something. Oh, yeah. It's just called Baroque, and it is a Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz stamp set. I do love it. Um, I have used it a lot. I have definitely gotten my Tim Holtz money's worth out of that. Okay, so then over here, Where shall we add some of this here? Yes. Why, yes. Yes, we should. Here. Okay. And it's going to go like this. Yeah. Good color pick. Good color pick. I'm so glad I could not find my pink because I much like this color maybe better. I don't know, maybe better, maybe not better. I don't know, but I like it. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this color. Gosh. Beautiful. I hope this picks up on camera as pretty as it actually is because it really, really is stunning color. And so this is how you can, again, just using supplies that most of us have on hand, um, our inks, looking at our stamp pads in different ways, um, how, to, how to use them and how to use our stamps um, to create something slightly different that's just not that perfectly stamped. Because perfectly stamped doesn't necessarily work for everything. It, it just doesn't. Um, so um, this is a great way to use them in a different, in a different fashion. Just looking to see where I want it. 
on this side or on this side, this side. Okay, last one, last one, friends. Just last one might be the best one. I don't know. Maybe. They're all pretty. I just like them. I just like, I like the imperfection, but it adds, it definitely adds interest and character and color and color to blank pages. I might regret this. I might regret it. Or not. I just wanted a little extra on those curls. A little extra definition. That was what I was going for, and that's what I got. Okay, lovely. Washed my stamp off here. Okay. All right. Love that. Love, love, love that. Okay. Okay, lovely. Set that over there. So that adds just a little something in there. Love it. Yes, okay, great. Now, next. Oh, I gotta remember to get my, dig my clip out of the trash can here, hang on. Well, I thought it hit the trash. Yep, it did. Found it. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this music or this poetry paper. It is so beautiful, but it is also so, so fragile. It is, gosh, when, what is that poetry book from? Hundred and one famous poems, a revised edition. But I don't think it told me from when. It's just ancient.
yet it does not tell me when it was published, but my goodness, is it old. It just says it was a revised edition. Oh, 1929, sorry, 1929. You, probably, you guys probably saw that and were like, hello, 1929, yeah, still. Not as old as I thought, but still plenty old, so. All right, so I need to come up with something to put there just to save the edges of that paper. Um, and I may do... I may do just this. Washi, or do I want to do pink roses? Um, pink roses, hello. The option is yellow something or another or pink roses. Um, hello, did you see the kit that we're using, Dion? How about some pink roses, lady? Just saying. And I'm sure this washi will stick. I don't know, but um, a little extra glue never hurt, any, never hurt anything. Um, I always want to make sure that my books don't come apart. I don't want my books coming apart, friends. That is just bad business, and I don't want to be a bad business partner. Sorry, these flip-flops are just hard. They're just hard because they just flip and flop all over the place. They're just, they're just flippy floppy. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Not a lot, but it just adds a little something and it's going to protect the edges of that paper. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. Then, beautiful. Gorgeous. Guys, I just don't even know what to say. It's just all so pretty. I love this tracing paper. Um, what am I going to add to that tracing paper? Maybe, I wonder if I, let me think about it. Let me think about it and come back to this tracing paper. Beautiful, beautiful. Center of the signature. I do not know exactly what I'm going to do in the center of my signatures. Um, there is a ton of ephemera in this kit. So um, what do I want to do on the back of this paper? Because the front is going to be journaling, so we're going to put something on the back of these for sure. Great journaling. Let's stencil the back here. What stencil would I like to use? Um... I tend to always go with the same old, same old, same old, same. And I feel like I have some leaves. I feel like I have a rose. Somewhere. I'm going to pause you because I do feel like I have a rose somewhere. And so I'm going to go looking for it. Give me a second. 
I also grabbed a mat to act as a as a hard surface under my stamping. And then I also grabbed a couple colors here. Bundled sage, and then I grabbed my tin of pinks and reds. And so let's Gotta see what colors I got going on here. Okay. Let's try bundled sage for my greens first. So this is two steps, two step stenciling here. I want to try to get my greenery. may not be perfect because I'm not perfect. Sorry, thinking. Trying to trying to pick out here what's greenery and what is going to be my flower. Um, let's go with one lipstick here. Trying not to move my stencil. Lovely. Lovely. That's beautiful. Okay. Don't hate it. Don't know where the back half, or was that the back half? I can't, that was the back half. Then I also have this side. Do I want to do the same on this side? Maybe. Or do I only want to do it once? That's the question, friends. I never know. I never know. I just sit and play with things a lot. Okay, let's, sorry, let's see, 
Yeah, I only want to do it not on that, just here. Okay. Got my green over here. Here we go. All right, pink. Sorry if my camera is shaking. I'm trying not to, but I think it may be. Not because I'm trying, friends. I'm sorry. Lovely. I love that. I love that stencil. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Move into the back. Is it raining? Oh, sorry. I'm talking to you guys like you're sitting next door to me and like you can like look out the window and be like, yes, yes, Dion, it is raining. I don't know, friends. I just, I just feel like we're all hanging out in one group here, just having all the fun and you guys are crafting right next to me. It is not raining, but it smells very much like it is going to rain. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Perfect. Got a little ink block in there. Okay. All right. Green. Green. Is not the color of my eyes. FYI, just in case you wanted to know. They're not green. They're blue. Why that even? Just, I'm telling you, friends, spend a moment in my brain. This is what happens. Like, random things just come over me. Like, you needed to know that green was not the color of my eyes. Because I'm just sitting here stenciling with green. And I don't know what else. Pink. I'm just saying, how beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Okay. Tucking that away for a rainy day. 
for the next time I need it. What did I do with that? Okay. There we go. So those are a few added elements. just gorgeous and then next to that pink pretty okay now let's come over here and <coughs> let's add some of this tape washi tape to this edge Great way to use up washi tapes that you don't care for or that are just old and you just need to get them used up, line some papers, line some page edges. It is a great way to save the edges of your papers too. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So let's see. Gosh, 40 minutes. Have I done anything? No, not really. Okay, now Okay, not sure what I'll do there. I feel like I want to add, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I seriously need a keeper. Have I told you that before, like 975,000 times? I need a keeper to take, to clean up after me because I'm such a mess. Such a mess. Sorry, friends. Had to get that out of the way. Okay. Um, pulling in, because I'm thinking I want to, like, add something else to, like, flip out of those papers. So what I'm looking at is this page here. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Um I like this green with this. Okay, I'm going to trim this up. Guys, did I tell you that I ordered another paper trimmer because, like, I have one, two, three, like, six, and I hate them all, so I ordered a new one. I ordered a Stampin' Up, I 
think it's a rotary. I think it's a Stampin' Up. Yeah, it's a Stampin' Up rotary paper trimmer. I did. Um, I know. I know. I I just, I hate, I, I seriously hate these Fiskars trimmers. I hate them. I, I, I don't, I just, I don't even know what else to say about it. I just don't like it. Um, and I have two of them and I hate both of them. I just. I just don't. So I ordered a Stampin' Up! one, and I don't know. I might hate it, too. All right. So what am I thinking here? What am I thinking? I just feel like I want to do a little clip out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. at that line there, I think. Yep. Okay, that gives me half to use there, half to use here. Which one do I want to use? I do not know. I feel like the writing may be kind of cool, but it also may be too much. just literally want to tip this in. How do I want to do it? I don't know, friends. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. This is, this is me. This is me. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I just get to go in and I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm thinking. I just think, oh, that's a great idea, but I have no idea how to actually execute the plan. And how, on God's green earth, did this get so stinking crooked? Like, see, I'm telling you, I use a paper trimmer and it is crooked as all get out, even with a paper trimmer. I just don't, I just don't understand. So we're just going to take our some washi tape. I've got to find some more washi tape here. What flavor do I want to use? This is a little pink. I'm looking at my, this is Tim Holtz washi tape, friends. Um, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Tim Holtz washi tape. Just 
Just trying to decide. Just trying to decide. I don't know. Now, what was I doing here? I don't know. Guys, don't. Who knows what I'm doing? Nobody knows what I'm doing, friends. Nobody knows. Shouldn't be this complicated, but this is me. And so, of course, I'm going to make it complicated. It's not. It's not really complicated. It's just me. It's what I do. Okay. Yeah, see, like... How did that get so stinking crooked? I literally don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. And you can journal on the back of that. Let's go ahead and put. I'm going to use pink. Or yellow. Yellow. Why not yellow? Over here. You don't have to use the same color washi tape on both sides of the paper. Just saying. Use your favorites. Use what you got. Okay, lovely. So that flips out. This flips over. Here's some extra journaling space. Okay, and I like it with this paper here, so that's good. Do I want to add the other here or no? No. I could make that be a little pocket here. So I'm going to leave that there. Gosh, I love that. It's gorgeous. Okay, let's do the edge here. Um... This is just some numbers. Let's just use it. I don't know. It's here. Let's use it. Oh my gosh, it's almost 8 o'clock at night, friends. It's no wonder I'm tired and I have to go to White Soul for tomorrow. Tonight is still Monday night at... Now it's 8 o'clock. Um... You guys are going to see this probably on Wednesday. So I'm going to White Sulphur tomorrow for a meeting with the hospital where my dad is at. They have requested my presence in person. Huh. Don't know what that's all about, but so excited to go do that. Yeah, I normally am just on a phone call with them, but this time they requested my presence in person, so not really looking forward to it. This 
especially not having been gone for four days, and then happened to drive. But hopefully, they're going to give us good news. Oh gosh, I love that on that poetry page. That's great. So yeah, so it's no wonder I'm tired of run, run, running. But I'm going to go do that tomorrow. So that will be fun. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it's going to be good news. All right. I need a very, very narrow, which is going to be that one, washy for here. So yes, I am very hopeful that they're going to have some good news with regards to my dad and some positive game planning here because he has literally been in the hospital since I believe it was the 2nd of June is his first day in was the 2nd of June. So we are ready for him to come home as much, probably not as much as he is ready to be home. He just wants to be at home. He is tired of doctors. He is tired of the hospital. He is tired of not being home. So we are ready for him to be home. And I know it is hard on my mother having to be having to be having to have him away from home and you know she goes and spends as much time as she can during the day she also has a job and so it's just it's a lot it is just it's a lot it is a lot and um We are just ready for a little bit of normalcy as long as he is able to take care of himself at home. Um, gosh, it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. We have had a very, very hard year. We have had a very, very hard year. It all began a year ago in July and it has just been a very, very hard year. I know everybody deals with it. Um, it's no exception whatsoever. We're not, we're not an exception to any rule. Everybody has their hard, but man, I'll tell you, it has, it has sure been a challenge. So I'm hopeful tomorrow is positive. Okay, um, let's do, oh, <laughs> speaking of, my mom just sends me a message. What does it say? Well, my meeting has been canceled for tomorrow, so. Why? Why was I worried about it, friends? I don't know. I don't know why I even voiced these things out loud. So never mind. I said that, and my mother literally just sent me a message that says, no meeting tomorrow. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed, but that obviously means that maybe 
I don't know what. I don't know what that means. So I guess I'll, when I sign off here, I will go in and visit with my mother. See what they have to say. And so yes, if you're praying people, would you please pray for my dad and my mom? Because I feel like they could sure use some positive something or another. I really do. So thanks. Comment below. Let me know if you're praying for my folks. I appreciate it. I sure would. And I know that my mom would too. I love this on this old paper. Oh, it's fabulous. Okay. Guys, this journal is just there. I mean, I know I need to do some things to it, but gosh, it's just so pretty. I just, I love all the antique papers in here. So I feel like, I mean, I'm going to add some embellishments, but this just might be a fairly simple journal. It might just be, what did I do with the pink? What did I do with the pink roses? It might just be a fairly unadorned, um, whoever chooses this, chooses to, have this journal because I'm caught up now friends I can start making journals for sale because I think I am caught up on my list so whoever chooses this journal might just be able to just embellish some of their own and it will be a true journaling kind of journal it's just the pages themselves are just so pretty. Chapter one papers, I'm telling you, stunning work, stunning, stunning work. All right, friends, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off. Oh, God, because it's already been an hour. Good Lord, you guys. Somebody needs to, like, honk their horn or something or, like, wave the white flag or a red flag. I don't know. And let me know that I'm, like, way over on my times. My goodness, friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. Good Lord in heaven. I'm telling you, I need a timer. I have two of them in here, guys, but I don't have any batteries in them. <laughs> That's how I operate. Oh, my Lord. All right, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for, you know, just coming along and seeing where I'm at in this process and um, continuing to check in with me. Remember, if you like what I've got going on here, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share with friends that you think might be interested in my content. Um, I would appreciate that so, so very much. And friends, until next time, please take care, be well, and I will look forward to visiting with you guys in the next video. Until then, friends, bye-bye.